let's talk about the global inequalities in gender. For the gender in the economy, globalization uh, often reinforces pre-existing gender structures, barriers, and relationships, but on a global scale. So on a global level, globalization frequently reinforces underlying gender norms, restrictions, and relationships. Uh, theories um, of globalization in sociology, economics, international relations, and many other fields often claim to be gender neutral or gender blind. So th those theories and perspectives often claim that global processes have similar effects on, on men and on women, yet in fact every experience in a voice of women, especially those in the developing uh, countries, are frequently not taken into account or just being um, what we call this, um, invalidated. So generally, though this ideology revealed that um, women suffer the worst consequences of uh, globalization. So the women are also found disproportionately uh, in low-paying part-time and temporary jobs in both developed and less developed countries. So the changing of the nature of the economic activity is uh, one of the main repercussions of uh, globalization. Uh, multinational corporations uh, shifted production to low-wage economies in order to release, uh, reduce um, uh, labor expenses. Uh, both in developed and uh, developing countries, uh, women are overrepresented in low-paying, part-time, and temporary jobs. Uh, within the last two decades, uh, women's labor force participation in paid employment has increased dramatically around the globe. So, women's labor force participation rates in the Americas, uh, Western Europe, as well as Asia and Africa have significantly increased during um, the late 1970s and late, late, uh, early 1980s. The greater involvement of women in the global paid uh, labor market is observable in a variety of occupations and, prof and professions in the service sector. So women are increasingly employed in public service and are more likely to work as teachers, university professors, nurses, doctors, uh, government uh, uh, administrators, uh, professional and other professional services, as well as um, uh, informal uh, works like uh, nannies, domestic workers, nurses, waitresses, and etc. So the increasing participation of women in the boat in both the formal and the informal global paid labor force has been termed the feminization of labor. Feminization of labor um, refers to increase in female labor participation across all sectors and uh, the movement of women into uh, formerly male-dominated jobs. The feminization of labor in developing economies is often accompanied by the feminization of poverty and by male proletarianization. So globally, more women are being brought into labor-intensive in, and uh, low-paying uh, industries. So women are preferred in these fields uh, because um, they are considered as less expensive workers and uh, easier for male bosses and supervisors to manage. So they are perceived to be gentler and uh, more skilled and patient than men while undertaking uh, repetitive work. But this kind of jobs are uh, temporary, um, less, have less benefits, security, and uh, high turnover rates. Export processing zones are especially in the, are special industrial areas often located in developing countries that are designed to draw foreign companies and capital investment. So independent area, this is an independent area in which they controlled by corporations and free of uh, national control. So they are notoriously, notoriously unstable because uh, they frequently relocate to countries um, with uh, less expensive and more compliant workforce. Again, women are uh, favored in this uh, production environments because they are viewed as being more cautious uh, and disciplined than men. Uh, most EPZs have, uh, uh, have uh, wor horrible working conditions. And, uh, and abuse and violence are are common. So unreasonably uh, long shifts with um, unpaid overtime. Uh, there is the failure to pay the employees on sick leave and lack of health and uh, safety regulations. 
monitored bathroom access, sexual harassment, physical abuse, age discrimination, as well as uh, gender discrimination. Yeah. And also, women over 25 are also are not typically hired by APG since uh, they are believed to be more likely to become pregnant. Informal, uh, uh, a most significant increase of women labor force participation in developing countries has been in informal sectors of the economies. Of the economy, informal employment includes uh, temporary work without uh, fixed employers, uh, paid employment from home, domestic work for household and industrial work for uh, subcontractors, and uh, also in an informal economy. Our workers have uh, low wages, lack of secure contracts, and do not have regular working hours, health insurance, or unemployment benefits. So they normally earn uh, below the legal uh, minimum wage and are frequently not get paid on time. Uh, compared to men's informal employment, women's employment is high likely, highly likely to have lower early wages and less stability. So informal employment for women includes caregiving and homemaking as mother, wives, and daughters rather than as wage, er wage earners. And it is higher because uh, uh, employment can be terminated uh, quickly and uh, easily. The feminization of wage labor in the global economy has contributed to an increase in female migration. Uh, a large portion of uh, of this uh, entails women from the South, specifically from Asia and third world countries, relocating with or without consent to the North in order to do tasks that have uh, traditionally been handled by women there. So this immigration benefits uh, the North and uh, improves the standard of living there, which is already high. Since most female migration takes place in undocumented and Informal ways, women labor, labor, laborers face the worst forms of discrimination, exploitation, and abuse. So more and more uh, migrant women are falling victim to prostitution, uh, sex trafficking, and sexual assault. So they may be also in prison in um, the homes of their employers, subjected to cruel treatment, and sometimes uh, even murdered. Let's talk about the global uh, care chains. This is a series of personal relationships between people across the globe based on the paid or unpaid work of caring. Uh, women supply their own care labor to their employer while consuming the care labor of others both paid and unpaid. So this, is, uh, this can be explained as um, like uh, women provide their own care labor to their employers while uh, consuming the paid and unpaid care labor of others. So, uh, uh, this can also be explained in a situation like, um, for example, a woman in the north or a developed country uh, pursuing uh, professional employment and uh, finding herself unable to fulfill her duties within uh, her family. And then, uh, uh, she will hire a domestic worker that will do the duty and uh, the domestic uh, and on the other ha on the other hand, the domestic worker will rely on uh, on her female relatives, on uh, neighbors, or as well as um, the paid uh, local nannies, taking over her familiar familiar duties for her own children.